We interrupt this program with an important community announcement. Over to you, Dad. Thanks, Ollie. Hi, everyone. It's daylight savings time. It just kicked over, and as you can see, beautiful sunny Melbourne day. I am going to adjust my stream times from now on, starting this Wednesday. I'm going to still do my stream at 7 o'clock my time, but it means it's an hour earlier for everyone else. So, big thank you to everyone that used to stick around really late watching my streams. I do really appreciate it. I'm going to make it a little bit easier for you, I hope. And so from now on, my streams will be starting an hour early for everyone else. 7 o'clock my time. I think it's GMT plus 11 now. Anyway, that's it. Thank you. On with the mail video. It's unexpected mail time again. Guess who's let their pile of mail get too big again? Yep, me. Let's get at it. I'm going to start with connectors. Some of this has been sitting there for a long time. Ah, oh, battery clips. Awesome. Because I am out. They're for my badges. Integrated circuits. What is this? Ah, oh, these are not integrated circuits. Interesting. These are completely bent pins. Wow. These are sockets. And these are sockets that fit my GPIO port expanders for my segment displays. I got a bunch of sockets because people were saying put the ICs in sockets. I might stick these in some kits. There you go. I got a whole stack of them. They were cheap, but yeah, I wonder how many have busted pins or not. Next we have, this is quite heavy, integrated circuits times six. What's in this? <laughs> they are not integrated circuits. They are piezo buzzers. And I believe these are passive. Awesome. Next. So I'm going through this nice and quickly. Jewelry findings and components. Yes, well, I know what this is. I want stacks of them. These are badge clips. Again, I'm out. I've sold out all of my Unexpected Maker badges. I have new badges on the way, but I want to use these on not just my Unexpected Maker badges. I want to design some new badges, and Dave Darko has totally inspired me. If you didn't catch my last stream, my chilling, chatting, and kit making stream, Go check it out. I built one of Dave Darko's Knight Rider badges and it's awesome. Anyway, so these are for future badges that I make and my Unexpected Maker badges. Next, we have USB socket connectors. Cool. So I ordered these a long time ago and this is before I found the ones on. Get out on LCSC. So these are USB connectors and these have the little feet, the little tiny plastic things that will fit into my board. But what I like about these is they also have the open front end so where the, the flaps are folded out. So I bought, I can't remember how many, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 20, okay there's one by itself, 30, 40, 51, Weird. Must have bought 50 of them. Cool. Never have too many USB ports. We have... Oh, desiccant. Here we go again. This is boring. Sorry, folks. Let's get this one out of the way. It's just these things. I'm always running out. Next. I have no idea what this is. This is packaged weird. This says... Port module times one. And it's big. Find out what it is. I don't even remember. What did I buy? What? Oh. Wow. <laughs> surprise, surprise. More screens. And these are actually packaged almost nicely. Ten more. TFT screens, Reflow Master screens, boy do I have a lot of screens. Yeah, let's move them out of the way. Okay, two more packages to go. This one says, ah, solder paste. So, 
I bought some cheap Chinese solder paste to try on recommendation from a friend of mine, Jason Macari. This is very noisy. One second. He was the first Refoy Master recipient and while he was umming and ahhing about getting some quick chip solder paste he got himself some of this solder paste on eBay and it's low temp so it's 138 degrees and it's kind of a no namey brand and he thinks it's pretty good so he's now got chip quick as well like what I use but he tends to use this and he thinks he loves it so I've only got my paste in my tub which is quite painful to get in and out and sometimes it'd be nice to just be able to squirt a bit of paste out and I now have low temp in syringes. Why is there, are they a different size? Nozzles? No, three nozzles, two dispensers, unless they dropped a nozzle somewhere. That's okay, so I'm gonna put these in the fridge but I will now have solder in a Syringe, much easier to use. Okay, lucky last. This is exciting. This is from By Displays. I mentioned on, I think it was a, my Revision 2 Tiny Pico stream where I went over my Revision 2 that I bought some OLED panels. And this is them. Nice packaging. Oh, look at that. So, I put them individually. Wicked. So these are the size screens. I bought about three different size screens because I wanted to try different sizes to see how they might fit on a shield. I'm pretty sure though that I also ordered. So where is the rest of it? I thought I also ordered some connectors for them. And maybe I didn't. I'll have to check my order. I'll do that later. But these are the three different screen sizes that I ordered. How cool are they? Now obviously that is going to now be too big. Let's get a tiny Pico. Here's a tiny Pico. Okay, so that's obviously going to be too big, maybe. That's not a bad size. That is tiny. I did not expect that to be so small. Oh, wow. That could be an interesting screen size for a shield. So a lot of surface area on this as a panel that isn't screen, right? So that'll be interesting. But these are pretty cool. So I want to build some my, I don't know what they're going to be, shields, something. For my tiny Picos, these are all white, I believe, just monochrome. Yeah, I am looking forward to... Wow, look how many pins that's got. Why has that got so many pins compared to that, for instance? I have to do some research on those. They're going to be fun to put together. Be an interesting challenge. But that's it. That's my mail for today. Very exciting. Just leaving that there just because. Thank you all for watching. I will catch you all next time.